Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to the first award for the Gore Awards 2016, which is my annual series where I talk about the best of the best and maybe sometimes the most disappointing of the most disappointing of video games from the previous year. And I am here to do the first award. There's going to be multiple different categories I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get through them pretty quickly because we're already in 2017. But I'm going to do the first one, which is going to be the least positive of all the other categories. This one is most disappointing game of 2016. And without further ado, here are the nominees for most disappointing game of 2016, which they were quite a few of them, but I had to narrow it down to five. So anyway, here are the nominees. And their tanks a burden. We hit and we run. Knowing we will all come back. It depends if I can live with my sins. Lose family and friends. Lost them all. Now you got to lose life and limb. Spit flim on them. Got the code to rock him. Homie jokes ain't allowed. And your boy ain't scared to move the crowd with something loud. If you doubt what I'm about, go ahead and run your Drum roll, please. Uh, okay, of course, the most disappointing game of 2016 has to be No Man's Sky. I mean, I put it on my top 10 worst games list. Uh, I also did with Mighty Number no. 9, but and Homefront. But to be fair, both of those games I wasn't really looking forward to as much as I was with No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was a game I was so hyped for 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 years so many were as well i'm not the only one but for years i was hyped for this every time they showed it at e3s or or the video game award shows or whatever i was so hyped i was so ready to get into this i, I was i was ready i was ready to go explore all these different worlds and start an intergalactic war and and find these weird species and stuff and whatnot and join cargo freights and stuff and you know trading posts whatever i i just want to do all that stuff and you can't do almost any of it in no man's sky all of it was a lie no man's lie as everybody said or one man's lie actually that's what a lot of people say uh and all of it was a lie most of it you can't do and the stuff you can do you'll get bored of after 10 hours the randomly generated planets are cool at first but then you realize every planet has pretty much the same stuff on it all the different different outposts and stuff that you can explore they're all the same on each planet hell they're even the same on each galaxy um there's maybe different rock formations and weird combination of different parts that make a different species or something but for the most part everything is the same uh even when you go to a different galaxy you have to learn a new language for a different race of, of uh, aliens it's all the same stuff because it's always the same questions like you're asked the same questions so if you know the answer to that question then just press the whatever button, you know? Yeah, press square. There you go. You already know that's the answer because you've already learned it 14 other times in 14 different fucking galaxies. So it's just so disappointing that this game did not live up to its hype. It, it, there was a lot of hype, and it just did not live up. So sadly, No Man's Sky is the most disappointing game of 2016, uh, but do not get me wrong, the other ones are disappointing as well. So... If you want to know where I would rank them in the most disappointing scale, here are the top five, or here are the nominees in top five order, from five being the least best to number one being the best, which of course was No Man's Sky. Uh, so anyway, until next time, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.